Good morning. We're going to say Happy New Year to all. We're going to call this meeting to order. I am Leroy Lacey sitting in for our chairperson, Ms. Past Truesdale. On our list, Mr. Dan is going to do our prayer, and Ms. Helen is going to do our pledge on today. Let us pray. Lord, you are known to us through Scripture by many, day, many names. Uh, today, we'll call on you for several of those. Wise Counselor, please encourage us to make the best decisions possible in the interests of all of our citizens. Rabbi and teacher, help us to learn more as commissioners about our elections and our election processes, and help us improve our teaching of our poll workers so we can better serve all our citizens. Shepherd, please extend your staff of healing over our families, over all our citizens, Thank you. and especially over Pat Truesdale, Thank you. our commissioner. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> Quickly, we're down to number four, where is the approval of the uh, December 6, 2022 minutes. Uh, if we can have a motion if everybody has viewed it. So moved. Second. Been moved properly by Commissioner Payne. Payne. Did that. Commissioner <laughs> <Payne>. <laughs> Is that girl sitting down here? <laughs> Second by Commissioner Dan. Any uh, questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed have the same right. We're here today on number five on our mandate purging day, which we'll turn that over to our attorney, Mr. Spent Flatgard. He will guide us through that. Yes, sir. I've got the list that uh, Circuit Clerk Ray provided of the convictions in the county since our last purge date last fall. And I reviewed the list that I forwarded on to you, and there was really only one uh, person who, in my view, had committed a disenfranchising crime. Um, and it's the I know we try to not give full, full names on page two um, the initials are number what T, number? TWM two okay yeah, yeah. Today, today. Okay. we got and, it and I'm so uh, larceny's there and that's a disenfranchising crime so he, he was the only the only uh, conviction that was I think was a disenfranchising one I move that we purge this individual. Second. And motion probably by Commissioner Payne, second by Commissioner Dixon, that we have one mandate purged on today. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And I will volunteer to ex- I've already looked them up. You've already done it? There, nobody's on there. Perfect. Not, n nobody's on Sims. Okay, good. So I've already looked them up. I'm sorry. Thank you, Helen. I'm Commissioner sorry. Commissioner Cardin's already looked it up, so we're good on that particular area there. Yeah. So we're done with that. Uh, down to number six. Felons just aren't voting like they used to, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Down to uh, <coughs> number six. Uh, Circuit Clerk Ray is not with us yet, so we're. She's on her way. She's on her way. I just talked to her. So we're going to move over number six uh, until she gets here, and then we'll back up if it pleases the commission. Down to number seven, where we got requests for our purge by district between 11 30, 2022 to 1 2, 2023. District one. 19. District two. 22. District three has 36 on Miss Pat. District four. 17. District 5 had 61. There motion. I so move. Second. There's motion by Commissioner Dixon, second by Commissioner Payne, that we accept these purges here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carried. Uh, number eight, we have requests for inactive by district uh, from 11 2022 to 1 2 2023. District 1. 29. District 2. 22. District 3, Miss Pat has 25. District 4. 18. District 5 had 20. Is there a motion to accept? So moved. Second. In motion properly by Commissioner Payne, second by Commissioner Dickinson, that we accept these inactive 
list on today. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Down to number nine. Is any old business that we missing that we have to cover from anyone? <coughs> that I'm aware of. None that I'm aware of either. Number 10 is new business. <laughs> Our new business here is to approve, with the addition of District 3, some permanent absentee lists. We have an A and a B. I know Ms. Pat is not here. You can find it in your package. If you have any questions about it, they are in your package on the two that she has. Uh, one is uh, Shelton Jacobs. The second one is Wilson, Wilson Cheetah. Okay, I move we approve. Here. We need a motion. I so move. You second? Yep. Okay. Diane, second. Sure. Uh, motion by Commissioner Payne, second by Commissioner Dixon, that we accept these permanent absentees here on these two. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Down to the B part, which uh, uh, Ms. Helen said I didn't bring mine, but uh, <laughs> I will. Shame, <laughs> <Okay>. shame. <laughs> right on my desk last night, but the NVRA purchase list by district, uh, I guess everybody got theirs but mine. Correct. And probably Miss Pat. You probably got Miss Pat. I got Pat's in oh, here. Okay. Got everybody's but yours. All of them but district, I won't say which one, but we have all of them. You will have all of them in a few minutes. Okay. All right. So we need to vote on that to accept it. Move to accept. Second. Motion by Commissioner Dickerson. Uh, second by Commissioner Payne that we do accept these NVRA purge lists by district. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Y'all said Miss Anita's on her way? She's on her way. I just talked to her. She don't know where. She don't know. We don't want to let Spence talk. <laughs> we can go to Spence. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to Mr. Spence. Lawyers are good at killing time. You know, <laughs> always does that. Um, I'll try to be brief though. You you run a, be a on tight clock. meeting, man. Seven minutes into it, we've not. Yeah, I'll be on the clock. So y'all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Couple things. Um, the election contest. Nothing's really happened. Uh, the Mr. Grissett filed an answer on uh, January third. So I think. Probably the judge is waiting on that, and uh, I'll let you know as soon as I know uh, when he, something happens or he's going to come to town and have an initial hearing. Uh, so that I want to report on that. Um, we've done the purges. Oh, uh, the Canton Public Separate School District uh, lawyer contacted me, and I think last fall they were supposed. You know, there's there's two elected positions. There's three that are appointed, and so the two that are outside the city of Canton are elected. And one of the people – they were supposed to have an election last year, she said, and so nobody qualified, and it's, it was probably going to be that they appoint somebody to that spot and then ask us to hold a special election in the fall. Okay. So there'll be – like, you know, the way it works is there's a general election ballot from governor down to – Sure. County offices. And then I think beneath that, there'll be a special election for that. So I'll keep you posted on that. They don't have to qualify till uh, later in the year. So stay tuned on that. <clears throat> I know Clerk Ray will be here in a minute, and people are filing to run for office um, with the deadline, a pretty tight deadline, and then we'll know who's running. And, um, you know, in the way it works in the Federal elections, you know, the qualifying the the primaries in March, and then the state elections, of course, is in August. So we've got some time before the the county and the state elections in August, uh, the primary elections, and then of course the general. So we'll I guess by our next meeting we'll know who all is qualified for office. So yeah. not to steal her thunder, but I think that's you know top of mind for her. So any questions y'all have for me? I'll keep you posted on the election contest and um, <coughs> anything else that comes up. In the meantime, here's my. Give me Pat's and I'll get yours. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I move that we pay Spence. 
There's a motion been made by Second. Commissioner Payne. Second by Commissioner Dickerson that we accept uh, Spence's uh, counsel and pay him. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried, Ms. Spence. Thank you. Good timing, Anita. Yes. <laughs> Efficiency. <laughs> Always. We're going to let you silence your phone, and we're going to back up to number six for Ms. Ray on her remarks. Okay. Um, this is the VR001 report, and it looks like we have 346 moves within um, Madison County since our last, since our last meeting. So I'm going to pass that down. Um, I really don't have a lot um, to um, to share other than you know qualification has began and um, looks like we've been busy with that and um, deadline is February the 1st yeah. questions for me that was quick you might want to mention that uh, those of us who have to need to file a financial report for last year, but what, by the end of the month, is that correct? Yes, well, there's a schedule. The, the financial report is, um, that is due by January the 31st has to do with um, last year's, sure. what you have in, you know, your, your balance, what you've expen your expenditures and your receipts. Yes. Um, then there is a schedule that is in that packet of, of throughout the um, campaigning process that you have to um, file. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Circuit <clears throat> like Clerk Ray? Nope. You good then? Thank you. Moving back to number 12, comments from the Election Commissioner, District 1. Well, I do, I think I have a comment on our calendar 2023 election commissioner calendar and i did put one in your packet um i think on our september the 11th if you will look in that i'm gonna uh consult our, our attorney spence but i think this is going to be a purge date so if you will put that on there and i will verify that to make sure that that is correct Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, so um, we need to make that correction what on that day, day that? and I need to make that as a purge day. What, what, what particular day? September the 11th. Okay, thank you. And I'm sorry about that correction, but I was just reviewing the um, Secretary of State's 2023 election calendar, and I noticed that that was not put on the calendar. So if you'll make that correction and I will get it reposted with the IT department and I will repost it in the correct locations. And that's all I have. Thank you. District 2. Uh, no comments. Ms. Pattis, not here. District 3. District 4. Ms. No Pattis. comments. District 4, no comments. District 5, only comments I have, we got about two weeks before we convene in Philadelphia. I think everything is in order. I will be going up next week to make sure everything is in order, but I think we're going to have a good one. Good. Looking forward to it. Yay. And that's all I'm going to say until you get there. <laughs> we have a record number of people coming. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah. Good. We no have. Test. No test. No test. <laughs> Hallelujah. Except for first year commissioners only, right? First commissioner, yes. Well, uh, W.C. Field said, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything is, should be in order. Just remind you, this is election year. There will be probably many candidates. I don't know them all yet. They will be coming out uh, probably the next few days or so, but I don't know all of them at this point. So be reminded, but we have a record setting. Just about every county, from my understanding, should have somebody participating. This is mm. going to be a first if it happens. Mm. Good. We're down to two counties, and we're begging them. Anything else good for this meeting? Anyone? Move to adjourn. Second.
been motioned by Commissioner Dickerson, second by Commissioner Payne, that we adjourn.